Woo! Frankie alligator. Oh, oh, the... okay. That's one way to share it. Dreams truly coming true. Jumping over a crocodile fence. I'm gonna go feed my own crocodiles. You want chook Aries? Woo! Bagoy, tell me something epic. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty epic. These poles aren't eight feet long. I know there's no crocodiles gonna be in here. What are you talking about, this? Isn't this awesome? Yeah. Watch me feed my king cobra the safe foot pack on. Let's be neighborly. Oh, this thing is a pogo stick with fangs. Woo! Woo! You're a cranky girl. Oh, beautiful day to be alive, Bagoy. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a beautiful day to be alive, Bagoy. My sweet feathered boy. My big, beautiful Eurasian eagle owl. The second biggest owl on the planet. Damn. How much PSI you got in your talents? 750. Damn, that's almost a thousand. Do the math. All right, Bagoy, fly. I love you, Bagoy. Ooh, to you too, my friend. Secure. <clears throat> almost secure. Bagoy, tell me something epic. Mm. Oh, that's pretty epic. Hoo off, go. Hoo. Well, that was pretty good. And how are you doing, Choby? Uh-oh, he doesn't seem too happy. He's catching some sun right now. I don't want to mess with you, Choby. I'm just going to go inside your exhibit real quick like. I'm going to take those chickens you didn't need and give them to the crocodiles. We don't waste anything here at Chandler's Wild World, so if you're not going to eat that chicken, Choby, I'm going to have to take that chicken out from you and give it to somebody who appreciates the chicken more. All I'm going to do is take the chickens you didn't eat. Don't be upset with me. I'll get you a new chicken. Ugh. We'll give these the Aries, the Nile Crocodile, because he could use a couple meals. Not Miss Toothy, though. Miss Toothy is, uh, she's she's thicker than a snicker. And this guy's pretty thick, too. He can go about a year without eating anything. That's what's so cool. Uh-oh. That's what's so cool about crocodilians. They could literally go a whole year without eating any food. They're true survivors. Woo! Cranky alligator. All right, Choby's nice and secure. Now, ooh, uh, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to let you guys see my top secret project, but I guess I'll give you a little sneak peek. Comment below. What do you think this area has been leveled and cleared for? And what do you think I'm going to do with all these poles, baby? So what do you think I'm going to do with all these poles? And don't comment the typical entrepreneur pole business down in Florida. It's not what you think. Oh, it's a beautiful day to drag chickens by their neck. To bring them my crocs so they can make a quick snack. And as you guys can see here, I already started breaking down that temporary enclosure area. I'm almost done. All I gotta do is fill in that hole, take out the last of the chain link and the fencing buried in the ground. And then this whole area will be back to being a nice, beautiful exhibit. Oh, hello! Hello, my beautiful children. You're both looking delightful. What they're doing right now is they're not saying I'm hungry. They're not saying I'm upset. They're actually thermoregulating. When their head gets too hot, they can open their mouth and cool down the mouth and then keep warming up from the sun. They're called ectothermic. That means they rely on the surrounding environment for energy. Oh, you just lost something. You can't have this, Miss Toothy. You are looking too plump. You need to put you on a diet. Mr. Aries could use a couple chickens, though. Aries. 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 Oh, oh, the, oh. Okay. That's one way to share it. Oh my goodness. Where are you going, Aries? Good boy. Well, this is good. Now he's facing away from Miss Toothy. Oh, hear him. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's like a happy cat purring. Oh, excuse you, Miss Toothy. That was so cool. All right, let's get the other chicken in the enclosure and hand fade him a little chook. Dreams truly coming true. Jumping over crocodile fencing to go feed my own crocodiles. Aries, Aries, come on, big boy. You want a chook? You want a chook, Aries? Woo! -hoo -hoo. Come on, Aries. Come on, Aries. Woo! Good boy. Good boy. I don't have anything for you, Miss Toothy. You crazy little crocodile. I'm out of food. I'm out of food. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm out of food, Miss Toothy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You be good. I don't have any food for you. What are you doing, Aries? You beastie. I love my crocodiles. <laughs> I love you, Aries. Hey, Miss Toothy. I'm out of food, guys. Nice and easy. No, Miss Toothy's gonna be a little crazy right now. You're gonna be a little crazy, huh? I have no food. Look, no food. We're good. See, she's smart. Now she's looking for scraps. All right. Out the, ooh, a little bit of chicken cut, a little, little gizzard right here. There you go. All right, time to jump. Whee! Ooh, woo. 
That's pretty fun. Good way to start the day. Oh, I'm sorry. I know you want some food, Nadia. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, Nadia. I will get you some. Oh, I'll get you some food soon. I love you. Hold my hand and we will forever be friends, my sweet. My sweet Nadia, please forgive me for not giving you food. Don't try to eat my fingers when I'm trying to shake your hand. It's friendship, baby. We got a good friendship going on, my sweet girl. Are you gonna climb a little bit? What are you doing? I love you, you big dinosaur. I'm gonna scratch your belly. I got your belly. Oh, try to bite my fingers. Maybe next time. Locked and secure, good to go. Woo, I'm so excited. 2022, we finally got our big Crocs here at the facility, CWW. And now 2023, we're gonna be getting our perimeter fence around the whole property. We're gonna be expanding. We might even turn the lake into like a nuisance gator pond with a, with a rail dock so the guests can come and feed gators off a dock. There's so much cool stuff coming. I don't want to talk about it all because, you know, if you talk about stuff too much, it doesn't happen. So I just want to surprise you. And the next surprise is pretty big. <laughs> it's about a thousand pounds big, eventually. What's up, little guapo? You hiding with your little nose tip? Oh, speaking of which, really cool story. I was hanging out with Bob Freer, the old owner of Miss Toothy, my big Cuban crocodile. And he was telling me how back in the day he had five Cuban crocodiles. She had a bunch of siblings. And when the big hurricane came through, Hurricane Andrew, wiped out the whole place. The fencing for the croc exhibit got knocked over, put on top of the concrete pond, and then trees fell on that. And they literally thought all the crocs were dead. After they were able to get through all the trees that fell over and they got back to the exhibit, Bob saw one snout sticking out one little space of water in between the tree branches and it was Miss Toothy and all of her siblings died in that hurricane. So Miss Toothy is a true survivor. She's actually around 30 years old. How crazy is that? It just reminded me of that story when I saw little guapo with his little nose tip sticking out right there. Quapo, my sweet little boy. Ooh, beautiful people. I've got this big old Burmese python. This is about a, uh, probably say, holy smokes. This is actually like, I'd say like seven feet long. Big dead Burmese python donated from Alex the Python Hunter. Duff does nature stuff. Go check him out. We're going to feed this big old python to Kevin the King Cobra right now. Uh, so anyways, we're going to feed this big old dead python to Kevin the King Cobra. And I've got Dom, my neighbor, over. What's going on, Dom? Hey, is this, isn't this awesome? Yeah. Watch me feed my King Cobra this eight-foot python. Let's be neighborly. <laughs> hey, Dom, look at this. Oh, please, God, be careful. Let's see if you want to eat. You guys are going to take a cobra. Kevin. Kevin. This can't be real, bro. Oh my god, look how big that thing is. Oh my god. Kevin's probably about 14, 15 feet long. That's a b cobra. Let's see if he'll come to the food. Come on, Kevin. 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 Woo! Come on, Kevin. Show you how big he really is. I can't believe this is real life, dude. It's not just a cobra, bro. That's the king right, cobra. This is a fever dream. You're never waking up. And these other snakes are trying to get out and kill us while we're <laughs> feeding another snake. They're just jealous that he has the 15-foot enclosure. And he's got he's about to be fed a giant-ass snake, bro. Oh, my God. Well, 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 what could we possibly be up to? Dude, what is this going on over here? What's what? These poles aren't eight feet long. I know there's no crocodiles going to be in here. What are you talking about? This? That? This, what is this? Uh, it's this little project I'm working on. It's, uh, I, I didn't like the way the grass looks, so I just had this whole area graded because I love the way the dirt looks. It's definitely graded. It's pretty great. I'm sorry. What do you think is going to go in here? Uh, I mean, <laughs> you already know what's gonna go in here. What, what do you think's gonna go in here? What do you think's gonna go in here? Comment below. Am I finally getting my pet rhino? So they don't know what you're getting at all. No, they have no idea. But they do know what I've been wanting for the past couple years. I've really oh, wanted a cassowary. I've really wanted a giant saltwater crocodile. I've really wanted a rhino. I've really wanted a camel. I really wanted a dumpster. Maybe this is a new dumping area. Yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of white sand put in here. It's gonna look really nice. That's the only other hint I'm gonna give them. It's gonna be a bunch of white sand here. It's gonna look really pretty it's gonna look like the desert comment below what you think i'm gonna get looks dope 
I'm excited for you. I'm really excited. I'm really excited because this animal is going to be an emotional support animal. This one will hopefully not rip my leg off. Yeah, and then I'm going to bring over my emotional support animal, and they're going to be friends. Do they can with your hands? Looks like they're going to crash into each other head on. No, no, friends. Friends. Okay, friends. that's what friends. Oh, we're going to make a hybrid out of... Yes. Oh, oh, little hint, little hint. Well, Tyler, what are you getting? What are you getting? Uh, it goes moo. Dog. Finally, I have somebody to spot me while cleaning venomous snakes. Tyler, show me your face. Come on. Hi, guys. How are you? All right. So first, we got to take care of the fernal ants. Just shit out of its old skin. We got to be super careful because this thing is a pogo stick with fangs. And I do not want to get tagged by this snake. He is a little missile. Whoa! Did you see that? That's why you got to be so careful with these guys. Even though he's only like a two-year-old snake, this snake is so athletic. And it still has a lot of growing to do. Literally, this snake can get to be about eight feet long, and they're found throughout Central and South America. Most notorious for bites in Central and South America, because these guys are like little landmines. They camouflage so perfectly. Look how beautiful the coloration is. Darciopelo means velvet, because they got that beautiful like velvet coloration on their side right here. Beautiful snake, and as he gets bigger, his scales feel more and more keeled, so they're rough. So they can live in different kinds of environment. Spiky plants, all kinds of stuff. We gotta be so careful because he's like a little heat seeking missile. Let's get him right into the can. Nice and easy. He's just right there. I'm gonna do a quick little spot clean. There we go. Definitely not a snake you wanna handle by yourself because it's a simple mistake, a little misjudgment of distance, and they can get you with their fangs no problem. The next thing we're gonna be cleaning up is the most venomous snake on the planet, drop for drop. It's the inland taipan, little Stevie right below us. We haven't taken him out in a minute, so I'm kind of excited to see how he looks. He's got these crazy winter colors right now. Lock that nice and secure. Now we're gonna take care of little Stevie. My little boy, he's right here. Took a couple little poops. That's how you know he's growing. Doing very good. Inland taipan, most venomous on the planet, drop for drop. Now he's just a wee little baby. What's crazy is that even though this snake is the most venomous drop for drop, there's little to nobody that's actually died from an inland taipan bite, because these guys live in the middle of nowhere in Australia in the outback in the Simpsons Desert, where nobody comes into contact with them except for people who are looking for them, like nutty reptile people. So you can see he's got his whoo, you can see he's got his winter coloration. So he's all dark, just like his head. And then during the summer, he has that black head and beige body. So they literally change color seasonally. They're so cool. Look at that beautiful orange belly. I love you, Stevie. You're a little bit deadly, but I still love you. He's got a lot of, whoop, he's got a lot of grown to do. He can get to be about six, seven feet long. It's, whoo, he's a whippy little snake. You're cranky, dude. You get, you're gonna strike? He gets a little cranky sometimes. Just wanna do a quick little spot clean, get the poop out of there. All right, nice and clean, good to go. And it's really good that I got Tyler here because like I said, it's not good to handle venomous snakes by yourself. Something like an inland taipan, woo -hoo, something like an inland taipan, drop for drop the most venomous. If he tagged me, I would 100% need somebody to drive me to the hospital. There's no way that you're gonna drive a vehicle after getting bit by something like this, because your body shuts down and you can pass out while driving. You're a hazard to everyone else on the road. So it's always good to have a spot when dealing with venomous snakes. Alrighty, Justina ate a Burmese python the other day on Stone's channel, so go check out Stone's World. Uh, but obviously after eating that python, it's time to clean her enclosure. She's going to the bathroom like crazy. You got a fast metabolism like most of Lapids. So let's get her out of this area. Get her nice and cleaned up. Because we do not want her to sit with her own poop. Because these vision cages aren't super good with ventilation. But we don't want her to asphyxiate or anything like that with all those nasty smells of ammonia. So let's see. I'm going to try and go nice and smooth. Because we all know that she is not a happy camper, especially with a belly full of food. Ooh, 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 you're a cranky girl. Dude, she's serious. Uh oh. Ooh, cranky girl, cranky, ooh. cranky, cranky. I see you, look at her, look at her. You're a ground right now. She is a beast of an Indonesian king cobra. Listen to her growl right now. So this is like a dog growling. They have a modified trachea, which allows them to growl. It makes them such an intense snake. Smartest snake on the planet, and the longest venomous snake on the planet. Look at that. Woo! Cranky, cranky girl. All right, woo, 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 woo. Nice and easy, baby, nice and easy. Let's try to get her inside the can without her being too upset. Because, uh, woo. Nice and easy, baby, nice and easy. We don't want her to be too upset because she's got food. Woo, woo, woo. She's got food in her belly still digesting. 
Her tail's tingling around this can right now. Just give me a second. Gotta just move with her and make sure she's nice and calm. Because nobody likes a cranky Justina. Woo, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, mama. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Woo. She's spicy. Nice. All right, let me grab the can. Woo. Woo. Isn't that gonna be fun when she teagues that big Tyler? Yeah, right. All right, so the thing about kings is they're lapids. They got fast metabolism and they poop a lot. So whenever you feed them, you expect poop in the next day or two. Oh, this is a lot more than I expected. Ugh, let me get that water dish out and start cleaning up this poop. And I'll just see you guys in a split because I know you've seen plenty of poop cleaning. So. It's impressive. What? All right, we've got a nice clean enclosure. We can put Justina back in her enclosure. Cranky girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. We'll go smooth. Put you right here. Whew. She is a big king cobra. There we go. Look at that. Hooding up real nicely. She's a great hooder. Like she can hood up about four or five feet off the ground. Whew. She's looking at me. Nice and easy, Justina. Nice and easy. Ooh, love this king cobra. She's a beast. Come on. Like dealing with a king cobra fresh out of the wild, she's always got spunk with her. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Look, there's your enclosure. She's about to poop. There you go. The cloaca is opening up. Oh, you got some uh, get this. Oh, she was musking a little bit, trying yeah. to distract me. Oh, you're telling me. Okay. Musk. Sorry, Mama. Woo Hello. Yeah. Nice and easy. All right, locked and secure, good to go. I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I will see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams, stay passionate about what you love. Tyler and I, we're doing exactly what we love. Every single day, we wake up and we piss excellence. So you should too. I will see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and always hold your friends close and let them know they mean much to you. Thanks, bro. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Woo! Cranky alligator!